After months of waiting, local veterans finally have a place to go for emergency care. KSNT News' Zaldi de Union is live at Topeka's VA Hospital to tell us more. Zaldi. Natalie, veterans in Topeka have spent the last 17 months without an emergency room, but as of this morning, that is no longer an issue. At starting at 8 o'clock, those ER doors will officially reopen for business at the Comrie O'Neill VA Medical Center. Now, the emergency room here closed down in January of 2014 as a lack of staff forced the facility to ground downgrade to an urgent care center. And although the VA has continued caring for most veterans during that time, the hospital couldn't accept any ambulances with emergency cases. Now, management says they've hired six full-time doctors and a physician's assistant, and they will be able to keep the ER staff and open 24-7. We are, we are ready. I am very confident in the physician staff, in the nursing staff, in the mid-level staffing we have, and all the various support services that we are going to be able to provide the best kind of emergency care our facility is able to handle it. It's really important. It's important to the community. And it shows that the community cares for having such a service. Senator Jerry Moran and Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins have pushed the VA for months to get the emergency room reopened. And while they're very happy about the emergency room reopening, they're just ha they say they do say that it took way too long. Live at the Colmery O'Neill VA Medical Center, Zolly D. Union, KSNT News. All right, thanks, Zolly. You can find Senator Moran and Congresswoman Jenkins' full statements on our website. Just head to KSNT.